Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you a topic on how to add sheet links uh, in files in batches uh, with just one click, which is a simple macro here. So it is an independent video uh, by itself, but you can also treat it as uh, a second part of my videos on how to split a master file into multiple tabs. Um, so a natural uh, scenario for this is like um, you have a master spreadsheet and for um, and maybe uh, say for multiple employees and then you somehow split it uh, the data into multiple spreadsheets and then now you want to create a summary page where you have all the employee name listed and then you want to have the uh, link to the individual tabs. So when people click on them, they can be automatically directed to the respective to the respective um, tabs. So how do we do that? If we want to, so the manual way to do it um, is not that hard. It's really you go to insert uh, and then you go to hyperlink. Um, and you need to choose here place in this document and then just look at who you want to link to say like the tab on Mary Teresa um, and uh, you just need to specify what tax uh, you want to display so for our case we just want to display the tab's name and actually we don't even need the single quote so just leave it like that and then we want to make sure um well we want to link to cell a1 like that's like a standard way to do it so you just okay it and then you have the link here and then now you click on the link and then it um direct you to the right tab and that's how simple it is but then unfortunately sometimes we have like thousands hundreds of employees and you don't want to do that um of course manually right so what is the quick macro way to do it um uh, like in batches so this is what i'm showing today and um, as usual i have the code uh, ready for you here um, and i will explain to you step by step so um, i just name it at employee sheet link um, and basically there are two steps one is just create a hyperlink and the other one is that you need to loop it to by employee until you hit the end of the list so um, then the first step you see here is actually the same as my videos on the splitting um, for uh, master sheet into multiple tabs um, i actually need to first name my um, split code which in this case is an employee name so this is my uh, employee name and this is my split code um, and second i need to specify which um, which cells i want to put them in right so here i specify the tab summaries um, cells c6 as my selection and then i set my split code as the range of employee name which you can see is all the employees that i have here right so um if you have more employees if you add more employees just make sure you add them here and select everyone and then make sure um you change you change the name uh, for your selection to make sure you have included all your new employees there okay so let's go back to the code so now after you made all those um, all those setup you can start the loop so we're saying here that um, for each cell in my split code um, let, let's say the first employee uh, so first employee Marilyn um, we want to add a hyperlink to the active sheet right and then the anchor point so all the ones following are the conditions so the first condition is anchoring so it the anchoring the selection which is cell c6 as we just specified address usually this is the address where you put um, a website or a file document uh, but then in our case because we are only linking to 
the active workable but just different tabs so we actually do not need anything here just have double quote like that and then we also need the sub address which in our case is the respective tab um, and the cell a1 so let's see how i define it so note that um, in our case, the tab name is, is in a sense, um, the employee name. So we can, which is actually our cell value. So we can actually say our sub address is equal to cell value with um, explanation mark A1. So that's how we reference um, the specific location. The one thing I need to emphasize here is to remember to add the single quote before and after um, the the sheet name because then Excel knows that with the single quote, Excel know that that is a sheet name rather than just a cell, like a pure tax. And then they can, that can direct Excel to find the respective tab. And then the text to display, in our case, we just want the names, right? So that's cell value there. And then the next line of uh, code is saying that, okay, after you create that link, then just move one step uh, down, move one row down, which is the offset function, select, and then do the whole thing again. Um, and then column C, I want it to be out of fear. And I did that because uh, sometimes the names can be very long and then it can be narrow. So I just want to make sure my C column C is adjusted to the right tax uh, length. And now after we did all that, um, do the next um, cell and then loop it until the end of the the end of the employee list. Um, and of course, if you don't want to uh, put the link in C, you can put the link in any other columns and just make sure you have the selection uh, selected properly beforehand. So that is pretty much the code we have. And then let's run the egg macro here to see the result. And alternatively, you can also run the sub here. Uh, but I have already linked um, to this um, macro code that we just created. So now let's run it and see what's happening. So yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. And then let's say now uh, we want to go to Abraham Lincoln's tab. Just go here and then here we go. So this is how we can create uh, the link to the different tabs in batches. And then you can literally do as many as you want. So and as always, I will post this code to the description so you can copy and paste. Um, and if you have more questions, if you are still wondering more, want to know more about the split code, how we name the loop, I would strongly recommend you to check my um, videos on uh, macro for beginners and also how to split uh, the a master spreadsheet into multiple spreadsheets and also my video on named ranges so you can understand more of the mechanics behind it. Okay, so that is everything I want to share today. And I hope that is um, you find it helpful.